Alright, so first things first, gotta give our props to Mass Effect, because it's an awesome game. And this is the Asari in Mass Effect. Alright, so the first thing I do is I go make a copy of the original layer, and then I, uh, I go to color balance, adjustments, color balance, where I can add a little bit of, uh, make it mostly purple. You can also do hue and saturation, because actually I'm going to be adding other colors in anyway. And then I'm painting out her eyebrows. Now at first here, I um, when I first started doing this, I, I changed my mind. I was doing it the total wrong way. Uh, there's a much easier way to do it. So how I'm trying to do it at first is make a copy of the layer and then erase the shape I want left. But that's not how you want to do it. What you want to do, is, and this is, what, this is what I end up doing, you'll see in just a moment, is make another copy of the original layer and put it on top of all layers. Change that layer to the color that you desire to paint with. Uh, so I'll change her face color to like a darker purple. This will be the lines I'm going to be doing. Then you go to layer and go make a layer mask, hide all. So it hides that layer under a mask. And now as long as a mask is selected in the layer, which is by default it will be, you use white and black to make it appear or disappear. And you can use different opacity brushes and different types of brushes. That way it's as if you're painting onto the uh, picture, but you're painting her actual skin tone. This way it looks more realistic. Uh, this is the best way to do makeup. Don't paint colors on the face. Um, I did that in some of my older videos to see what it looked like, but it just doesn't look right. So the best way to do it uh, for f to make it look like a photo is to use the actual photo itself and paint with that. Uh, so hopefully you understand how to do that. It's not too difficult. See, now this is what I'm doing right now. I'm taking that original layer and then I'm making it uh, the color, this darker purple. Now I'm just using white or black. I can't remember which it is. I think it's white to reveal when it's high at all. That's the color I'm using. I'm just using a hard brush, and now I'm just painting with that brush onto her skin. And you notice it's actually painting in the layer itself. It's revealing the layer. And so now the uh, designs on the face actually look like they're part of her skin tone. This way it doesn't just look like paint on the skin, because that's uh, how they look in the video game. It's the best way to do it, really, with anything. It's how you can make superheroes to change their skin color and all that kind of, all that kind of stuff. How to paint tattoos onto people. Then you can just change the layer to multiply if you want it darker, and make it a couple extra layers of it if you need to. But you kind of want, that way when it goes into the lighter part of her skin, that way the texture's preserved. So the texture's still there with, with it, with the color you're painting on her. And when it goes into the lighter parts, it'll look lighter like it should. Okay, now I am using a hard brush. If you have an Intuos tablet or a, a tablet that has really good pressure sensitivity, you want to have it at 100% opacity. Hard brush, 100% hard brush, 100% opacity. And this is the best way to uh, paint down your block shapes. Get that hard, that hard look. You don't want to use a soft brush and you don't want to use a, a not a low opacity, otherwise it just doesn't look right. Then you can turn down the opacity after you have your main shapes in. But try to work it as, as good as you can with the uh, high opacity hard brush. And only after it looks as good as it can with that brush, then go in with a uh, lower opacity brush. If you have a graph wire like me, um, I usually set it to about 90% 90% because the graph wire is not quite as sensitive when it comes to pressure. It only has 5, 12 levels of pressure sensitivity instead of 1024. So. And I change it to a really small brush to add these lines in here. I'm not actually using white, I'm using a really bright blue, almost white. It's very rare that you use white white, and if you do use the color white white, you're usually using a low opacity, that way it blends in with the colors underneath. 
So it'll never actually be white, white. Details. I didn't spend too much time on uh, the painting part. It wasn't going for perfection. It's fast. Now you see that what I did is I made an extra copy. Now this an extra copy of her face, and this layer is on the very top now. And then I use a layer mask hide all. And now I'm uh, using a soft brush with low opacity, and I'm painting in that color. You see how it starts showing through. That's that's how you do makeup right there. So if I wanted to give her this kind of greenish makeup, that's how I did it. Okay, done.